Virgo, this is all about you. Virgo, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for the week ahead. About seven days out from whenever you watch this. This is for Virgo sun, moon, rising, wherever Virgo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the week ahead. Let's get right into it. We're going to do the full oracle card spread over here and then there's an extended link below if you're interested. That's going to be a full tarot card spread to articulate and extend the reading and your romance predictions. So, energies for Virgo, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Virgo, Virgo, energies for Virgo for the week ahead, energies for Virgo, energies for Virgo, what's coming in, what's coming in for Virgo, what are the energies for Virgo, what are the energies for Virgo, what's coming in, what are the energies for Virgo, what are the energies for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, what are the energies for Virgo? What are the energies for Virgo? What are the energies for Virgo? Flip out the energies that are crowning your reading. This and that are true. Time to let go. Time to let go of some sort of ambiguity. Some, something that's held you still or stagnant. Some sort of stagnation. Some sort of something that hasn't moved forward but you can't turn back. There's been a delay, some sort of stuck in quicksand feeling on something, a specific topic in your life. This would be very meaningful. I have a feeling it's almost like it's in stasis. There's something in stasis. It's almost like it was there was an intention behind this. There was a, there's a feeling of like stasis. In other words, isn't um, stasis is usually chosen. It's it, there's a conscious decision to put something into stasis so that because you're not ready to deal with it right now. So Virgo, what is it that you're not ready to deal with? Because this week it's going to become, it's going to come front and center and become very prominent. Whatever it is that you've been avoiding or whatever feeling it was that you've been suppressing, trying to push down, whatever situation you've been trying to um, basically um, hold back so that it doesn't explode, it's this that's going to be front and center. I don't, at least I don't see yet the explosion, but there is um, a feeling of this being prominent in your mind. What's going to happen with this? Worried about it, concerned about it. You're trying to put it out of your mind. Maybe you'll be having to make extra effort to put it out of your mind this week or to try to not Try to not let it creep up and ruin things for you. Um, it may not even be a bad thing. It could just be that you've been waiting to hear. This this is just an example. You could have been waiting to hear for um, from, from a job and you're still waiting. It's almost like you're in a waiting period. So there is a sense of you're either in... You're waiting for understanding and you're waiting for clarity on a topic that is very near to your heart. It's something that's gnawing your heart. In other words, it's it's causing you stress, it's causing you anxiety. It's 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 um if if you let it, it would consume you. And so you have taken yourself under control and you have let it not you're not allowing it to consume you. You're trying to think of other things or put your mind elsewhere. But um it will gnaw and nag at you this week. Um for whatever reasons it is, it could just be the cosmos making you extra emotional. Um, you're trying to find peace and harmony at not knowing or not having the the um, not having the closure on this that you really need. It's almost like at this point, let's go back to the job example. If, if, if they rejected me, why can't they just tell me? Where's the rejection notice? I just need to know. I just want to know. I want to know what's happening. This has a sense of, um, yeah, it's gray. This is a gray area. I, I really want to get into um, 420. Yay. So um, I'm going to sneak in a commercial here if you guys are watching on platforms that allow for it. Thank you for your patience, and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Okay, so for those of you who actually sat through a commercial, thank you. Um, it helps to sponsor the channel. I appreciate it. Um, and for those of you who didn't, thank you for your patience through that awkward pause because I know it is a bit awkward. Um, 
I really need to get more information. This is the, the feeling crowning your reading. So I want to know exactly what it is you're waiting through, why you're waiting, why is it so important to you, um, what, what the suppression is about. Let's see, because there are other cards here. See the big picture. So you're trying to gain a higher perspective on this. Maybe you've taken time out and intentionally delayed knowing or finding out or confronting whatever issue it is because you want to kind of gain a higher perspective and see things in an objective way. There's that you are very, very concerned about being exceptionally fair here, more fair than you normally would in other situations. You want to see if you can find out information, maybe get information from other sources so that you can have an overview and look at this and understand it. It's almost like you want uh, to understand the other person's point of view or the other party's point of view better before you move into the confrontation because there's something here that you don't get and I feel like this week is what, what what's happening this week is you could be gathering that information you could be trying to collect it from other sources maybe trying to figure out if the position's been filled calling up a friend to see if they know about this other friend you know it's like it's just trying to go around the situation or look above the situation you're not trying to like manipulate you're trying to collect you're trying to collect more information and and be as objective as possible but you're there's also a sense of aloofness to it i think is what i'm trying to say um you don't want people to know that you're collecting the information. So you're standing apart from it and just sort of asking questions that maybe lead into conversations that open up to information about this topic being revealed. Bring a gentle touch. And this is your energy. Um, this is just more earth energy. Um, reiterating the fact that you want to tread very lightly here this is not a situation that you want you, you're very concerned about the situation there's something very delicate that could be thrown off balance and you don't want to which is why I, yeah you're kind of tiptoeing around it you're 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 being patient you're allowing yourself to just um not be as aggressive as maybe you would be in other aspects because this is there's this may be something concern concerning it, in other words this subject may concern other larger subjects or other people and you don't want to suck them into it and so you're sort of just treading very lightly and being very gentle and trying this is also a sense of being trying to be loving to the other party um trying to be respectful to them their space their needs uh, give them consideration as in don't jump to conclusions this is really interesting. <laughs> um, in other words, this isn't just something. This is something very important. And you're being very diplomatic about the whole situation. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of diplomacy here. Very grounded energy. You're okay taking things slow. Um, it's almost like there's a little bit of, I want to take things slow because maybe I don't want to know. Um, this might have to do with somebody that you're in love with or a romantic situation, something that has to do with some sort of romance because my Libra card just popped out. Okay. I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. Um, so this is Libra energy time for a deep dive. This is okay. You know that you're going to have to have this conversation with this person, with a person or this situation. And, and this tells me it's a person. This is something to do with romance or somebody that you're in love with, were in love with, or love very much. And this is going to go deep, deep, deep into the fabric of your relationship. This could, this, this could change your relationship forever. You, you've been avoiding having this conversation. This is a, um, a confrontation that needs to happen and you feel it building. But you are very happy to stay in stasis for a while. And I think you're trying to pull, elongate that stasis for as long as you possibly can. You're not going to be able to do it forever, Virgo. Life is a mystery. Yeah, you're putting on a good face. You see, this is a shamanic card. This is looking out through somebody else's eyes. You're putting on a happy face. You're putting on a face, but you're putting on a mask. 
because this isn't what you really feel. You could be trying to hold it together for the holiday season, especially when it comes to family. You may not want to tell them something. You may be getting a divorce or thinking about a divorce or um, have had a confrontation with another family member, but you don't want to bring, you don't want it to come up at Thanksgiving dinner. There is a sense of, of putting on a mask and hiding what it is you're feeling inside, but also trying to like remove yourself, just step back a little bit. Like I said, have an objective perspective, try not to be so emotional and try to look at these things from a fair point of view, but it, it does have to do with um, love. This is a sense of also maybe not telling somebody that you love them. Keep having it kept to yourself, keeping it close to your heart because you don't, you're not ready to say anything yet. Um, this could also flip vice versa and, and be somebody thinking that way of you wanting to go very gently, but because maybe you just got out of a situation or um, not ready to talk to you yet because they don't think that you necessarily want them or they haven't seen much interest coming from your side. So this is, all the energies could always be reversed, but it's a sense of somebody not ready to say something that's very important to their heart, but they're not ready to share it yet. But how much longer can that go on? Nothing is wasted. Mm. Um, so you're trying to do the best that you can with your time. Be peace. There's two Libra energies coming out here, very prominent. This is, this is Libra energy too. This is reestablishing a balance inside of yourself, trying to keep the peace. So this is definitely, you don't want old garbage coming up from the past to destroy something, a, a friendship, a group, a, an event that you, that you want, um, that you want peace in, that you're looking forward to. Maybe you've been avoiding calling that recruiter to see if you got the job because you don't want to hear no. You don't want to hear the bad news. You almost feel like there's some sort of garbage that could come up from underneath and you, and, and, as, and you want it to stay down for as long as possible. Um, but it's also a sense of you're going to have to somehow, and there's always enough, but this card is in reverse. So there's emotions that are out of balance. And it's not going to be able, I feel like this week, you're going to continue to try to suppress it and pretend like everything is okay. 12-12. I just saw that across the bottom of my time. 12-12 is divine counterparts. Um, you're, this is definitely dealing probably with romance, but we'll get into that and confirm that in the extended. But for right now, this general energy is feeling unbalanced or removing yourself from your emotions, not confronting what you really feel. That's what's going on. You, Virgo, are not confronting what you really feel. You're not even admitting to what you really feel. You're suppressing it. And I feel like you're suppressing your emotions. Like you don't want to admit. You're trying to make something look more benign than it really is. And, and maybe it's to sort of buffer you. And, and, and so you don't have to confront that feeling deep down inside of yourself that maybe you would be ashamed of yourself or you would feel uncomfortable admitting that you have feelings for somebody. Mm, that's really interesting. You don't want to admit that you have feelings for somebody because maybe that somebody is a person that you're not supposed to have feelings for. Okay, okay. But you can feel this building. You, there's, there's, it's not just you that's lending, that's adding or contributing to this, this current circumstance. It is things, it's, it's, it's just the circumstance that you're in and that's, oh God, my words won't come out right. Virgo, I wish I was you right now because you're so good with words. You're so articulate. Um, not me. I'm, I'm Cancerian, so I'm all emotion. So I can feel this right now. And what it feels like is denial, discomfort, a little bit of shame that you don't want to acknowledge is shame. So you're trying to rationalize it away. I'm not saying that you did anything wrong, but it's almost like you felt something wrong, felt something deeper, wanted something that you shouldn't have wanted and you don't want to confront it. And that struggle is very, very real this week, probably because friends and family are coming together from the holidays. You may actually see somebody that's come back from the past come back and you have to play nice with them, pretend like everything is okay. Maybe this is somebody that you really had some deep feelings for uh, and they were attached or you were attached and there's nothing that you can really do to detach yourself from the emotions except try to rationalize them away and talk about them or pretend like they didn't exist or 
talk about them as if they were something else. Oh, and I never really felt this way. Or um, that's, you know, they, they misinterpreted what I meant. But deep down inside, you know what you meant. You know those feelings were real. And you're just so worried that all of that's going to come to the surface. And you know what? I don't think you should worry about it. I think you should be honest about it because that truth is sort of going to liberate you from this place of limbo and stagnation. Let's look at, yeah, time, uh, take time out. This is going ahead full steam. This is coming to a head this week. It's not, you're not going to be able to keep it in stasis anymore. And chameleon act as if, but it's upside down, which means, which means you're, there's something that's going to happen this week that's going to take you out of this stasis, that's not going to allow you to hide anymore. It's gonna rip off that mask whether you're ready or not. There is something that's sort of gonna be a big reveal. It's gonna be very emotional too because this is bare energy unleashed. So this is a feeling of something that's been pent up, almost a rage that's been pent up for a long time. And it doesn't have to be rage, but it's that intensity of emotion that's just gonna come flying out at you. And as much as you try to keep it together, Something, something even from the outside is going to strike it and catalyze it. And, and it's just going to keep going and you're not going to be able to control this. It will frustrate you. Um, it will scare you. It will make, me, it make you have a huge fucking breakdown. But the bottom line is it, it needs to come out. And this is more for your liberation and your health than anybody else's. So hold on. I'm going to review the cards. I'm going to, I'm going to flip around the camera. Hold on. So here you go. Laid bare all out in front of you. Uh, and Virgo, I, at this point, remember when I, oh, I opened the reading and I saw the crowning energy. So you begin this week in a sort of limbo or stasis. In other words, either you're choosing to not know and you're participating in keeping things in that in-between place so that you don't have to deal with it. Or you're waiting for a response or for information to come in and you don't have any control to make it come in. And maybe you're avoiding understanding or knowing or asking because you're afraid to hear what's going to be on the other side of it but you also this is this is very close to your heart it could be romance it could be somebody that you have feelings for like romantic feelings for but it's definitely very close to your heart and you want this you and and it concerns i think more people than just you and somebody else even if it's waiting to hear about a job it concerns your family right it, it would that would also concern your family's stability financial stability so this is something that you want to be very diplomatic with. You're trying to remain objective. You're trying to see things from a higher perspective, from a, 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 an aerial point of view. You're also trying to say, um, you're also trying to see things from their point of view, trying to listen and understand. But I think this is also a, a sense of you trying to collect more information or get more information without people knowing. So you're trying to stay hidden and disguised about collecting this information, trying to maybe look on people's Facebook pages, maybe just look on the job board to see if the job posting is still there. You're trying to collect information without, pe without having people know that you're collecting the information. Not that you're being sneaky or down low, but you, you're, you're definitely being aloof about the whole circumstance. Um, but here we have something coming back from the past, this fear of like garbage coming up and you don't want it to come up. You don't want that. You don't want it to ruin or destroy or throw off some sort of very delicate balance that, that is uh, in your life right now. So this is a sense of enough is enough. You, you really, you're not going to be able to take this much longer, or maybe there's not enough information for you to really feel comfortable confronting this situation, talking to this person or having this conversation. But I also feel like there's a little bit of denial here too. Some sort of hidden emotions, hidden concerns that you don't feel comfortable sharing. And that could be about your feelings, um, for this person or even this person's feelings for you that they haven't been able to share. They've had to keep to themselves. Um, this could be about news, like like I said about the holidays, this feeling of not wanting to tell your family that your relationship is on the rocks or um, saying that your boyfriend just needed to be with his family um, this Thanksgiving instead of letting everybody know that you guys actually broke up. Something like you don't, you want to keep the peace so you don't want to reveal the truth. And in a way, there's a little bit of you may not want to reveal the truth to yourself too, as if if I don't say it out loud, then it's not real. 
and you know that's not true, but you just don't want to deal with it right now. Um, but here's this energy of by the end of the week, Virgos, you're not, you're, that mask is going to fall off. You're not going to be able to hide from this anymore. It, there's going to be a catalyst that sort of just springs out. And this bear energy, when it usually says take time out, and it's sort of blocking negative energy from you so that you can relax, this is when all the energy comes surging at you. In other words, or it's coming surging from you. So it's just the floodgates are going to open up and all of this is going to come out. Ready or not, here it comes. Um, at the end of the day, guys, you're going to be, I mean, well, we're going to figure out what the outcome is going to be, like what the other side of this is going to be. So I'm going to continue this reading on the other side. Um, the extended link is below. We'll do a full tarot card spread to see what's on the other side of the floodgate, what the fallout is. And then we're also going to go into the weekend, the, I'm sorry, not weekend romance, the romance for this week. Okay. Thank you guys. I'll see you over there.